Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Today I am bringing a video from the 10.1 beta. There were four updates to PvP talents. We have one PvP talent where it got buffed. We have one PvP talent where it got changed. And then we have two completely new PvP talents. So today in this video, I'm just going to go over them. What's new? And that is pretty much it. The buffed PvP talent is Dome of Mist. So it now makes it so Enveloping Mist transforms 120% of its remaining peri periodic healing into Dome Mist when dispelled. I think before it was it was less than 120%. I just remember reading the buff. So that was buffed. This talent does not get used very often though, if ever. So it's a good it's a good buff, but I still don't think it's going to get used often. The next PvP talent that got changed was Thunderous Focus T. So before it affected your Crackling Jade Lightning, which gave you the two knockbacks and Essence Font, which I believe it removed all snares on you and made your immune to snares increase your movement speed. That has been removed. It now makes it so your roll and Chi Torpino refund a charge on it and heals you for 20,000. So if I use Thunder Focus T and I roll, it resets a charge which is actually insane so now i only get one charge. oh i don't have you could actually have four five rolls i'm just going to test it one more time i swapped to focus thunder so if i use thunder focus t and i roll i keep my three charges and do i keep it again and i do that's actually insane and then i can keep rolling you could just keep rolling so, like, teams are going to have a very hard time hitting you. I mean, if they have roots and snares, it's going to be really annoying. But still, you you essentially have four Chi Torpedoes or five rolls, which is so good for when teams are trying to tunnel you. One of the new PvP talents is called Fey Accord. So, Fey Line Stomp's cooldown is reduced by 10 seconds, and enemies struck by it are snared by 60%. Yo, thank you for the, the follow, MVP, MVP Wrecked. I'm actually recording this, so I appreciate that. So this makes reduce the cooldown of Feyline Stomp. So now it's a 10 second cooldown and it puts a 60% slow. I don't think it shows the slow. I tried testing it. I don't see the slow on people. It, it must just be like some kind of AoE slow or something where I don't know. But this is really good. So just an AoE 60% slow to anyone that's struck by a Feyline Stomp. And more, even more important is your Feyline Stomp's cooldown is reduced by 10 seconds. They just buffed it too. So by default, Feyline Stomp, so I can shout out here and change talents, Feyline Stomp's cooldown is 20 seconds. They reduced it by 10 seconds. So it's now a 20 second cooldown. So then you add this talent on top of that and it's now a 10 second cooldown. So you're going to pretty much have permanent uptime or being able to stay in your your Feyland Stomp, which is absolutely insane. The last PvP talent that I've seen a lot of people talking about and I've gotten a lot of questions about is this talent right here, Zen Spheres. We basically are Zenyatta now. So this forms a sphere of hope or despair above the target only one of each sphere can be active at a time. So you could have two active, but only one of each. Sphere of Hope increases your healing done to the target by 15%. And Sphere of Despair target deals 10% less damage to you and takes 10% increased damage from all sources. So that is freaking insane. I'm going to show you. So this is a party member. I'm going to put a sphere on them. You can see by the... the blue white circle over their head they have the sphere of hope which is uh the increase 15 percent increased healing from me and then this is an enemy i put a sphere above them and this makes it so they take damage they do they take 10 percent increased damage from all sources and then deal 10 percent less damage to me so this is gonna be a really good talent for both P for both fist weaving and cast the healing i do want to note this has no mana cost it's instant it is dispellable. So if you put this on an enemy, you can see it's magic. Enemy healers can't dispel it, but as soon as they dispel it, you just can reapply it. And it swaps depending on what you... So you can, obviously you can't have two of the spare and you can't have two of the other one up. But this is really, really good. Obviously this is going to be a huge priority in your rotation no matter what you're doing especially if i mean no it doesn't matter what you're doing if you're fist weaving you're just going to put this on somebody and then you're just going to yeah, probably the kill target and then you're just going to keep doing damage to them and they do less damage to you and then if uh, if you're cast the healing you're also going to put this on yourself if you're taking damage you're going to put it on your teammate if they're taking damage this is a really really good talent this is a really really good talent so now now that chrysalis is now a, a talent uh, just a regular talent right here we get we we open up you know we free up some uh some pvp talents here so in my opinion 
I think as far as what talents we'll be playing, I think we're going to be playing Peace Weaver and Zen Spheres pretty much every game. And this third tower is just depending on what we queue into. Eminence, if we think we're going to get trained to the dirt. Grapple Weapon versus Warriors, maybe. And I think those are going to be the two we're going to be... Oh, Zen Sphere as well versus Casters. But this Zen Spheres talent is really 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 good in my opinion and i am looking forward to playing in 10.1 but that is pretty much it for the changes to our pv talent if you have any questions at all or if you want me to take a look at certain talents or certain changes i'll probably have a video on the day of patch going through every single change that miss weavers are going through so that is pretty much it hope everyone's a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoy the video i'll see you later